So? Sally, where are you? I don't fucking know. The screen is still dark. Who could possibly figure out anything with a black screen? Oh, God. Why are my eyes so blank? It's like I don't have a fucking clue in the world. I want them to be red. Why am I leaving behind little squigglies? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You better fly away, stupid bird. I'm scary as fuck now, boy. Nobody can stand up to this. I look like children of the corn. Don't wander off so far, sweetie. I want to see the dog eat, Mommy. Can't you hear him? Yeah, it's a talking dog. Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. You know, you're... You actually look better now that you're not in a hospital bed. But I really want to see it. Please? Please? Can I go pet the talking doggy? Oh, all right. So I'll just give me a minute to get my purse. Then we could go together. You little brat. Yay. I'll wait over there by them trees. Yeah. Yeah, let's wait over here by these dead-ass, ugly-looking trees. They look like they're from a Halloween movie. Look at this shit. Is it the middle of fall? This would actually be a pretty decent spot if I wasn't so freaky-looking. Look at me. All right. Oh, what the fuck was that? Was that Gizmo? That better be a. That better have been Gizmo. Um, I said I was gonna wait by the trees. Why am I over here? Oh shit! Looks like I diffed my face in the sauce. Okay, when did this become Armageddon? Oh god. I guess that's what's left of the doggy. So, um. Holy fucking shit! What the hell's in here? Oh god, who the fuck are you? Thank you so much for coming to help me out with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Just stop shitting so much and we won't have any problems. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately, his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. <laughs> oh, okay, it's over here. All right, let's see what's up with this toilet. Holy mother of... Welcome to Taco Bell. Thank you. Oh god, it's alive! Why is there an eyeball over there? Did she eat a person? That's what's left of them, the eyeball? Oh my fucking god! You there. Please, help me. What the hell's wrong with you? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Not really. Please, hurry. Um, it looks like he's beyond help, so do I really want to help him? No, I don't. Alright, guess we're climbing up, because there's nowhere else to go. Switch. Oh, okay, okay. I gotta switch him in a specific order. Oh, it's the tippy top of the tubey fun. There we go. Alright, will you work now? Yep. It worked! Huh, he read my mind. Makes my balls twist. Oh my god! You see? You see? He was too far gone. That was a waste of time. I'll just use him as a bridge. <laughs> His butt. Ugh, I don't want to go back in there. It stinks. Taco Bell. It's no good. Hello? Oh, God, it's Jason. Yeah, I don't think it was the fat guy anymore. That didn't look like the fat guy. Hey, Mr. Sanderson. How'd you fare? <laughs> All right, let's just leave. She's fine. She's probably fine. Ugh. Do I have to follow this? You know, if he wants to kill a woman that can't control her stool, I mean, is that such a bad thing? I feel for him. He didn't have to fuck up the wall, though. Look at this. It leads into nothingness. Where am I going? Am I going outside the game of my own self-existence? So, come closer. Yeah, your ugly face. Why is there a zipper? I know you touched my pup. Mmm, okay. This man's a perv. I thought we were friends, friend Sal. Oh, God! The fuck? Looks like the type of dreams I used to have whenever I lived in my old house. Episode 2. The Wretched. I can see why it's called that. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life, and I haven't seen any ghosts. But. But. But what? Come on, don't leave me in suspense. Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Your nose, I, know, I already know. It's there. Come on. Do I have to? Well. Ready? Oh, God, he had to lead us out in the cold. Now my allergies are kicking up again. Squish, squish, squash. 
Whoa. How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, how cute. How many of you had a treehouse when you were when you were kids? Leave it in the comments. Awesome. I never did. I had a cardboard box in my living room though. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Is, is that him in the in the picture right there? Why does he look like Steve Austin? Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard it is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly ever fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us, even though he did. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he would never leave us like that. He lived us. So, what do you think happened? You know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted. Who the fuck is Chug? Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Dude, you've been saying that since we met. What are you, jiggy on me or something? Of course not. I will never judge you, even though I already am. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back, and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. How can a firecracker kill a rabbit? Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. Fruitcake! He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school. Oh, so that's why you have a record. I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Shanderson, everything. Well, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon even look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. The, these deep red eyes that pierced right... Hey, hey, you watch it. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon... No, wait, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's leaked to the other ghosts, too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We could try and find out more about the ghosts, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I got nothing to lose. Okay, let's look around. Huh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, better keep looking. Chest. I like chests. There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. No, no, no. Take it! What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. You're telling me you never fucking opened it? It's some kind of puzzle, but oh. Well, that's my answer. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. Never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Huh, oh, you actually follow me now. That's pretty cool. Oh, never mind. You're just going on your own. Fuck you then. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Lisa's room. Oh no, Lisa. Hey Lisa, feeling any better today? Hi oh, Sal, I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good, because there's so much work to be done. 
I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Don't worry, I know how that is. Especially with my allergy problems. Alright, let's leave. Ah, fuck me, who the hell are you? Oh, so that's Chug. Chug, what are you up to, man? Hey, Sally Face, I've been waiting for the snack guy to fill in the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. Are you the one who ate everything? I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. I don't even know what the hell that is. Me too. Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. How? Ugh, this shit again? Miss Rosenberg's place. Oh, easy. It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right, come on in then. The door's open. No, I don't really want to talk to you, but, you know, I'm looking for clues. Oh, my God! Oh. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I'm a dude, by the way. I wanted to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. God, you're a ray of sunshine. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time sitting here alone, the mind can drift a great deal into the ass and go out the hole, wondering what's right. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. Do you have something to ask? Um, yeah, actually. How long have you lived here? My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with a great and mysterious nothing if we Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. Uh, oh god. It, it's okay, Mrs. Rosenberg. I was asking how long you lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. God, how old are you? Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Oh, God. I'm, I'm afraid to ask this crone any more questions. About the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Uh, gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. And that young boy with a twinkle in his eye. Have you ever seen any ghosts in this building? Ghosts? Why in heaven would you be worried about such a thing? A ghost, Sally? You're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. You suck. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets just waiting to pass from this place to the next such a thing okay see ya i think she's too old to be alive mr addison good evening sally face it's so nice to see you i hope you're doing well today hey mr addison i'm good how are you wonderful thank you for asking so how may i be of service of you young sir uh what's with the new cameras didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting everything gets discussed there um, oh, yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up-to-date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a few security systems put in for everyone's safety. With all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy, please don't tell me my building is haunted. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay, even though it isn't. I was, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew. I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. As long as you don't call me a girl, we're good. Good day. Go to floor three. David's place. Oh, oh hi, Sal. What you ump suit today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night, all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, uh, uh what about, like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, you gotta lay off of drugs, man. Trust me, you'll live a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. 
What happened to your pants? Like, seriously. Why are your twigs exposed? Oh, well, uh, they're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to get them, but we just got to talking, you know? Lost track of time. Yeah, whatever, see ya. Seize ya. Pretty much haven't found shit yet. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, what the hell? Hey, Gizmo. What you watching, buddy? Ooh, that's exciting. Edward Shovel Hand. <laughs> oh, Daddy. You home? Uh oh, it's man. This reminds me of Coraline, big time. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Go the fuck away. God. Okay, fine. All right. Must be on floor five. I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe the acid apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? I'm just beating my meat. Larry, why don't you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, these fifth floor rooms are only really seeing better days. Shh! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, you there? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though, I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while. I hope she's okay. So, you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her for a few times, like I said, but she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man, as weird as this is. I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. If this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we were able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling that I needed a drilling. Dude, know you, who you should talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help you somehow. Todd, really? Huh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He, he always seems so normal, rational. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna go back downstairs to make sure my mom's all right and to beat my meat again. Hey, Sally Face. Oh my goodness. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Holy Toledo. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me, you have. Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Uh, me, or two, you, um, I mean, it's, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I gotta get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on the algebra next week. Who wants to do that? Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. What? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley though, so what's up? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance of your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Why is it always in the bathroom? Yeah, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. <laughs> However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the gearboard cartridge new with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. Wow, this guy's actually helping me out. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gearboy always light up when she's near? It does light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here. So we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? Fuck. Nothing is happening. And the game isn't lighting up either. Huh. I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy by shoving it up my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool. Sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost its electrical output. Okay, so these are two things I gotta find. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. Will this work for the power? Uh, walkie-talkie? Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Oh, great. I had one of the items with me. But where the hell do I get an antenna from? Hey, mind if I borrow this antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Sure, thanks. Yes, this will work perfectly. Give me a minute to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie, and I wasn't able to salvage it. I hope it's okay. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. While it's flashing, press the R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other- Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. That doesn't sound creepy at all, but sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing shift. And... hi -ya. Uh, did that do anything? Hmm, maybe I... Oh, God! Holy mother of fuck! I never, I never thought he'd thought kill, he'd kill him. them. I... I it's, it's all my fault. fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh, God, oh God what a what fool I was to fall for a married woman. woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must, must be a romantic. romantic. Like I was. It's, it's kind, kind of you to say, say but I know I better than that. that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. no. What? What is it? He's, He's here. Who? Oh, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her debtor? I have, I have to, go. to go. I'm sorry. sorry. Back in the toilet. Wow. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. I'm fucking leaving now. Okay, this is where I saw the red-eyed demon last. Ah, fucking knew it. Ba bink. Holy mother. What the fuck? Aha. I have uncovered a mystery. Sal? Sal? Who the fuck are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, 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 you're just a Sal. You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I rise I remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? There's a wall, but the ice when you have a red ball and you don't die. Well, that was super helpful. It's strange, but I can't find any reports on past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. Ew. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here that day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all. Or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, 7, 7, 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report, one day after the original was filed stating that the girl was found dead in Windigo Lake, that's a few miles south from here, along with her parents. It says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something? That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. 
That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Oh my god, that was a total guess. Now, Larry, we'll see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Ta-da! Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Hi Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. <laughs> That's, That's not, not a nice, nice word, word, Larry. Larry. <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay, okay my, my daddy, daddy says, says bad, bad words sometimes, sometimes too. too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side of what? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. Like, I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? You know, besides the fact that he lives in a toilet? Uh, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be a, he used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then she was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah. How'd you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. You lie. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, hey, yes, yes where'd you where'd find you that? that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My, my mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She, she said, said it would protect me from evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in she's her bedroom, bedroom, but she, she never, never listens, listens to me anymore. anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get into the bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Why is it always me? Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See, those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids and all, but uh, they have the real loud party sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you could talk to them for me and get a little quieter, then I can let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. See ya. You know, dude, it's not even your fucking crowbar. What the hell? Alright, college students. I need you to turn your fucking music down. Hey, Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face, I'm contempting an alternative activity for tonight's party. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. Chess tournament? What about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. What's up, CJ? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Okay, how about this? Huh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. Hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for poetry tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. How about... Telephone. Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia. Could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping out. Sarah will be happy, too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you one second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Okay, thank you, David. We should be able to pull these boards off of the crowbar. Yes, use the crowbar. That's why we're here. Eh, eh, eh. All right, I did it. Hmm. Wow, there ain't nothing in here. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see if this'll work. Whoa. 
<laughs> See? I go with my gut and sometimes it works out. Oh god! Stacy? Are you okay? Why are you stuck in the mattress? Well, that was fucking weird. Let's see what's in here then. Whoa. Hold on a second here. Heh, 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 hello? Whoa, what the hell? Um. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go with chapter one. Oh, fire. How's it going? Ah! Luke, can you hear me, Luke? Luke? Oh my fuck! What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it would overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. That thing was about to eat me. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison apartment had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to have taken care of it. Oh, come on, it can't be that easy. No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess, since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he, he just... <laughs> what a pussy. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me... The look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I'd hope to get some honest insight from you today, especially with being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demon ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system, Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did? Yeah, what did I do? Well, it's profound. You some bitch. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Why does this guy have green hair? Ah, God. What a fucking psycho, huh? Hmm, Commissioner Gordon's there. Hmm. La 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 la, I win anyway. La 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 la. Holy shit, that thing went to hell. What has become of this place? Oh my god, I am so fucking scared right now. Patty likes pink fucks. I don't know what that says. Do, 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 do. Look at my hair bounce. I'm old. A mustache. Ooh, a treehouse. Always want to win with you. Mr. Gordon, hold on. Rusty tools and other various junk. It's not just junk, it's various. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. No, no, no. Boxes. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes. Nothing of importance. A few old amateur paintings. Probably Larry's. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. This place is boring. Ah! Dr. Anon. Ah! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. This. You're. You. Oh, God. It can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then- OH GOD! Shit. You long-nosed prick, you fucking killed me. I hope you rot in hell, Commissioner Gordon. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree.